You either walk inside your story and own it, or you stand outside your story and hustle for your worthiness. This powerful statement resonates deeply, especially when we face unexpected challenges. Life has a way of throwing curveballs, shaking us out of our comfort zones and forcing us to confront the unexpected. It's in these moments of uncertainty that we discover our true strength and resilience. Imagine for a moment a young woman named Anya. She's a talented artist, pouring her heart and soul into building her dream career. Anya has spent years honing her craft, attending prestigious art schools and showcasing her work in local galleries. Finally, on the cusp of achieving her lifelong goal, she receives news that changes everything. The letter she holds in her trembling hands informs her of a sudden unexpected event that threatens to derail her plans. Anya is faced with a choice to let this setback define her or to rise above it and continue pursuing her dreams. She seeks advice from a trusted mentor who reminds her that true success is not measured by the absence of obstacles, but by how we overcome them. With renewed determination, Anya decides to embrace the challenge, using it as fuel to drive her forward. She channels her emotions into her art, creating pieces that are more powerful and evocative than ever before. Her resilience and perseverance pay off as her work begins to gain recognition and acclaim. Anya's journey teaches us that facing the unexpected can lead to growth and transformation. We all have the capacity to turn our challenges into opportunities, to find strength in adversity, and to write our own stories of triumph. So the next time you find yourself at a crossroads, remember Anya's story and choose to walk inside your story and own it. Embrace the unexpected and let it guide you to new heights. Anya receives a life-altering medical diagnosis, throwing her carefully crafted plans into disarray. Her dreams of international exhibitions and prestigious commissions seem to slip away. The disappointment is crushing, leaving Anya feeling lost and uncertain about the future. The path ahead seems daunting, filled with unknowns and overshadowed by the weight of her diagnosis. The life Anya envisioned, the future she painstakingly planned, is no more. The disappointment cuts deep, leaving her grappling with a whirlwind of emotions. Fear, anger and sadness threaten to consume her. This is a defining moment, a crossroads where Anya must choose how to navigate the unexpected terrain of loss and uncertainty. In the face of such adversity, it's easy to succumb to despair, to allow fear and negativity to take root. Yet there's another path one that leads to healing, and ultimately to a life richer and more meaningful than we could have imagined. This path, though challenging, begins with acceptance. Acceptance isn't about giving up or resigning ourselves to a fate we dislike. It's not about denying the pain or pretending that everything is okay. Instead, acceptance is a courageous act of acknowledging what is, without judgment or resistance. It's about recognizing our current reality, embracing the full spectrum of emotions, and choosing to move forward with courage and grace. Acceptance, in its purest form, is a catalyst for transformation. It allows us to release the weight of denial and resistance, freeing up energy to focus on what truly matters. When we stop fighting against reality, we create space for healing, growth, and new possibilities. For Anya, acceptance means acknowledging the reality of her diagnosis and its impact on her life. It means allowing herself to grieve the loss of her envisioned future without judgment or self-criticism. It's a process, not a destination, and it requires patience, compassion, and unwavering self-love. By accepting what is, Anya begins to create space for healing and opens herself up to new possibilities. Tsung Sukkum Section 5 Finding Your Path 
listening to your inner voice. Once we've begun to embrace acceptance, we open ourselves up to a world of possibilities. Acceptance is the first step in a journey of self-discovery and growth. It allows us to let go of past regrets and future anxieties, creating space for new opportunities and experiences. We can start to explore new paths forward. This requires listening to our inner voice, that quiet whisper of intuition that guides us towards our authentic selves. It's about tuning out the noise of external expectations and societal pressures, and instead connecting with our deepest desires and aspirations. Our inner voice is often drowned out by the cacophony of daily life. The constant barrage of opinions, advice and expectations from others can make it difficult to hear our own thoughts and feelings. But when we take the time to silence these external distractions, we can begin to hear the subtle guidance of our intuition. Connecting with our deepest desires and aspirations requires patience and practice. It involves moments of stillness and reflection where we can tune into what truly matters to us. This process can be both challenging and rewarding as it often leads to profound insights and realizations about our true passions and purpose. Anya, now more in tune with her inner voice, realizes that her passion for art hasn't diminished. It's simply taken on a new form. She discovers a passion for teaching, for sharing her love of art with others. This realization sparks a new sense of purpose, a renewed sense of direction. She begins to explore opportunities to teach art classes, finding immense joy in nurturing the creativity of others. Anya's journey is a testament to the power of listening to one's inner voice. It shows how embracing our true passions can lead to a fulfilling and meaningful life. This breakthrough moment of purpose is not just about finding a new career or hobby. It's about aligning our actions with our core values and beliefs. When we do this, we experience a sense of harmony and balance in our lives. We feel more connected to ourselves and to the world around us. Anya's story is a reminder that our inner voice is a powerful guide. It can lead us to unexpected places and open doors to new opportunities. By listening to it, we can discover new passions, develop new skills, and create a life that is truly our own. Finding joy in nurturing the creativity of others is a beautiful expression of our own creative spirit. It allows us to share our gifts with the world and make a positive impact on the lives of others. As we continue to listen to our inner voice, we can find new ways to express our creativity and live a life of purpose and fulfillment. Section 6. The Journey Unfolds Embracing every step The path to abundance isn't always linear. There will be detours, roadblocks and moments of doubt. But it's in embracing the entirety of the journey, the ups and downs, the twists and turns, that we truly discover the richness of life. Anya's journey isn't without its challenges. There are days when she feels physically and emotionally drained, days when self-doubt creeps in. But she perseveres, drawing strength from her newfound purpose and the support of loved ones. Anya learns to celebrate each small victory, each step forward, no matter how insignificant it may seem. Section 7 Finding joy in the ordinary, the magic of presence As we navigate our unique journeys, we often find ourselves caught in the whirlwind of daily responsibilities and future aspirations. It's easy to get caught up in the pursuit of future goals and aspirations. We often overlook the present moment, the here and now, which holds its own unique beauty and significance. The simple joys and everyday miracles that surround us can be easily missed if we are not mindful. Cultivating presence, 
The ability to be fully engaged in the here and now allows us to appreciate these small wonders. It is a practice that requires intention and mindfulness. This practice is key to unlocking a life of abundance. Anya, once consumed by her grand artistic ambitions, found herself constantly striving for the next big achievement. She was always looking ahead, planning her next masterpiece. Now she finds joy in the simple act of creating. She savours the feel of paintbrush on canvas, the texture of the paint, and the way it responds to her touch. The vibrant colours blending seamlessly together bring her a sense of peace and fulfilment. She notices the way sunlight dances across her easel, casting intriguing shadows on her artwork. These moments, once overlooked, now bring her immense joy and satisfaction. By being present, Anya has discovered a deeper connection to her art and to herself. She smiles more often, feeling a sense of contentment that she had never experienced before. The magic of presence has transformed her life, allowing her to find joy in the ordinary and beauty in the mundane. Her artwork, once a means to an end, has become a source of daily inspiration and happiness. The magic of presence is not just about being in the moment, but about truly living it, embracing it, and finding joy in every brushstroke, every shadow, and every ray of sunlight. Presence isn't about grand gestures or extraordinary experiences. It's about bringing awareness to the mundane, finding beauty and meaning in the everyday moments that make up our lives. It's about savouring a cup of tea, appreciating the warmth in our hands and the aroma filling our senses. It's about listening attentively to a loved one, truly hearing their words and offering our undivided attention. Anya now makes a conscious effort to be present in each moment. She takes time to appreciate the beauty of nature, whether it's the intricate patterns of a fallen leaf or the vibrant hues of a sunset. She engages fully in conversations, listening intently and offering thoughtful responses. Anya Mwans, Section 9, The Transformative Power of Now. Presence is a pathway to abundance. When we cultivate presence, we open ourselves up to a world of abundance that was always there, hidden in plain sight. We begin to appreciate the richness of our lives, the beauty in the ordinary, and the interconnectedness of all things. For Anya, presence becomes a pathway to healing and transformation. By embracing the present moment, she finds peace amidst uncertainty. She discovers a deeper appreciation for life, for the simple joys and everyday miracles that make each day unique and precious. Yuti Yetina, I'm in section 10. From loss to light, reclaiming your power. The journey from loss to abundance is a testament to the resilience of the human spirit. It's a reminder that even in the face of adversity, we possess an innate capacity for healing, growth and transformation. It's about reclaiming our power, embracing our stories and choosing to live with intention and purpose. Anya's story is a powerful reminder that we are not defined by our circumstances. We have the power to choose how we respond to challenges, to find meaning in our experiences and to create a life filled with purpose and joy. Jakun section 11. A new beginning, embracing the abundance within. The journey of transformation isn't about erasing the past or pretending that pain doesn't exist. It's about integrating our experiences, both joyful and challenging, into the fabric of who we are. It's about recognizing that within each of us lies an inexhaustible well of strength, resilience and abundance. Anya's journey of acceptance has led her to a place of profound peace and fulfillment. She has discovered that true abundance isn't defined by external achievements, but by the richness of her inner world, 
her capacity for love, compassion and connection. Many us in one section 12, call to action. Choose acceptance, choose abundance. Life is a journey filled with unexpected twists and turns. It's in these moments of uncertainty that we have the opportunity to choose courage over fear, acceptance over resistance, and love over despair. Embrace the power of acceptance. Choose to find meaning in your experiences. Cultivate presence in your everyday life and watch as your world transforms, revealing the boundless abundance that resides within you and all around you.